my goal was to make five thousand dollars this weekend now did i make the five thousand dollars stay tuned and i'll give you that answer in just a few minutes Hey, hey, hey guys, Carlos here again at Mobile Food Booth. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Guys, don't forget to like and share the video if you find the content is of value to you. Anyway, guys, this weekend was a doozy. It started off very, very interesting. The coordinator, <clears throat> she was acting up as soon as I got there. Let me tell you about this lady. As soon as I got to the event, she pulls out her paperwork and she asks me, am I sure that I signed up for the event? She doesn't see my name on the paperwork. And I'm looking at her kind of side eye like, yeah, of course I signed up. We got emails, but we were corresponding back and forth for four months. How can I not be signed up for the event? So her little protege, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still getting over this cold, guys. Her little protege tells her, Oh, just put them down there at the end in front of the bank. So I'm looking like, this doesn't sound good at all. So they put me all the way down at the end in front of the bank, which I knew wasn't going to be great. But they had another event going on that day that was wrapping up as we were setting up for this event. And I tried to get my workers to hurry up and get set up because our event didn't start until three it's from three to nine but that event was from nine to four so we got set up by like 12 12 30. we couldn't even get set up we were already getting customers from the other event i mean we really couldn't even start cooking it was like they were trying to buy so it was like we were rushing and you know my workers were panicking like deer in the headlight but uh we ended up making like four or five hundred dollars even before our event even started which is crazy so that really really helped out a lot so let's get to the question did I make five thousand no I didn't I ended up grossing twenty one hundred dollars and netting thirteen hundred dollars now, was that successful? Was that a successful weekend? You tell me. I thought it was. Yeah, I didn't I didn't make the 5,000, but I ended up profiting a good sum of money. And I was happy with that 1,300. My workers were happy, I was happy. Everybody went home happy. I have plenty of events where I can make five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. It just didn't happen this time. As one of my old mentors told me, sometimes you get the bear, sometimes the bear gets you. And I wouldn't say the bear got me, but that's just in general in life. Sometimes you're going to get the bear, and definitely sometimes that bear is going to get you. But <clears throat> I don't have an event coming up for the next couple of weeks. My next event is, uh, I think, the 25th and 26th of may um i had people calling me uh from cards and stuff that i left at other events <sighs> guys i'm telling you once you get started and you have a really really nice setup you're going to start having all these random people come up to you during the event wanting you to come to their events beware trust and believe beware car shows little community picnics with like 50 people there. So the one lady called me. She contacted me about her event. <clears throat> Said she's going to have 100 people. Said she couldn't get anybody, any of the other vendors to, to come. They wanted to charge her. So I'm trying to explain to her. The reason they're going to charge you is because they won't be able to make any money with 100 people. They have to put out five, $600 minimum just in supplies and labor just to come to your event and you got a hundred people so I had to sit on the phone for half an hour trying to explain that to her that it just wasn't going to work you gotta 
you got to make money. We're in this to make profit. We're not in this to just give money away. Anyway, so I told her that I couldn't do it. She was a little upset. She'll get over it. I'm going to show you guys some clips from uh, the event this weekend. We had a, a few good little rushes. It wasn't like a long line or a steady rush all day. It was more like a burst of people here, a burst of people there. And it ended up working out really nice. Really nice. But I'm going to tell you, if they would have had me down in that middle section where I should have been, I'd have got that $5,000. I'd have definitely got that $5,000. Anyway, guys, I'm, I'm going to wrap this up now. If you're out there, you want to start your, your own food concessions business, a mobile food business, stop sitting on the sideline because we're out here getting this money. Think it's a game.